Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. You know, many of us have people right now that aren't doing real well in their lives. They've lost their jobs, homes, those kind of things going on. What do you say to those people? Or maybe you know somebody who's got a terminal illness and you feel uncomfortable when you go around and you don't know what to say. Or maybe somebody's had someone pass away in their life and it's maybe a good friend of yours or maybe an acquaintance that you're around once in a while and you just don't know what to say. It feels kind of weird and uncomfortable. I understand that and one of the reasons it feels uncomfortable is because you think you have to say something. Also one of the common things people do is deny or blow off the fact that this is going on when they're around that person and the reason you're feeling uncomfortable is because you don't want to mention it because you think it's going to bug them. The absolute opposite is true. If you're around people who have just lost someone or if you're around someone who is terminally ill and it's inevitable they're going to be passing away earlier than they had probably thought they were, they like to talk about it. And believe it or not, it's not as morbid as you think. People are amazing. If you find out that something's wrong with you and all of a sudden you realize you might be terminally ill or you talk to someone like that, the mind has a way of adjusting itself to that. If you're uncomfortable, become comfortable just in treating that person like you would anyone else, like you always have. When people have lost someone, the last thing you want to do is deny the fact that they've lost someone. Acknowledge that and let them know that you're with them and that you have deep concerns for them and you love them. You don't have to say, I'm sorry, because you didn't do anything wrong. It's life. Life's an exclusive club that you can't die unless you've lived. We've got to get over this political correct stuff, this uncomfortableness about saying our truth. And at the same time understands we are communicators and we're slowly losing our ability in our society to communicate openly with love. This whole thing right now will clean itself up if each one of us will take personal responsibility to reach out to someone if they've lost someone or if they've lost their home, or they're grieving the loss of maybe their child going to college, and they're out of the home now for the first time, those are all areas where people grieve, or they're sad, or they're uncomfortable. Acknowledge it. And maybe you're the person that can help that person grow through it by talking about it. There's nothing to be uncomfortable about. There's nothing to be worried about. They'll respect you for it, because most of the rest of their friends are in denial of it kind of skate around it. And you know the saddest thing of all? Many times people find out somebody might have an illness and it doesn't even mean it's terminal. But all of a sudden they're so uncomfortable they just kind of cut off contact with that person. That's what's sad. Friends are friends through the thick and the thin of it. Acknowledge your feelings. Talk to them about it. They'll probably make you feel better about it. It's a good time to live right now. I'm asking you to live every day. Live it like it's your last. Live today like there's reckless abandon and just putting a smile on your face and having fun. No matter what you got to do today. And quit grumbling about work. Quit grumbling about the economy. Quit grumbling about no job. And just start getting your moods pumped up feeling good, be around your friends, whether they're terminally ill or they lost someone or not, and live. All of this is part of life. Until tomorrow, this is Dr. Gary asking you to live a little. Until then, bye-bye.